Today we'll discuss CPQ or Configure Price Code for a business process. CPQ comes with rule configurations that go above and beyond general code creation. It allows the admin to reduce errors in codes and ensures efficiency in the selling process. CPQ is a configuration tool that helps target and contextually sell products and services. It also helps strategize several aspects of a sales process to ensure the smooth movement of customers into actually purchasing. CPQ automates creation of codes that are highly contextual and targeted to meet the needs of a prospective customer and also manages to throw a bit of upselling in the process. All in all, it plugs gaps in a process where the full potential of a possible sale isn't yet leveraged. Our panelists for the day are Shrivatsa, Soho CRM's Product Manager for CPQ, Mohan, our Development Head for CPQ, Sridharan and Praveen from the CPQ Engineering Teams. I'm Sushmita from the Zoho Community Team and we'll walk you through a bunch of different business scenarios and use cases where CPQ is required. Here's our general practices for these webinars. We have muted attendees, but you can use the Q&A panel to ask any questions simultaneously as the session progresses. We'll initially discuss how current products are, hand are added in a code and how codes are configured, what codes are currently capable of. We'll also highlight aspects of the pricing and choosing of products that currently needs to be manually done through codes. CPQ has the product configurator and price rules. Each of these features come with a host of configuration possibilities for different use cases. We'll discuss each of these products, product features in depth. Our example for today is in the computer manufacturing sector and seller business. It's called Core Electronics. New laptops and relevant devices are manufactured and added to the products list Often and relevant products are sold to customers through different avenues. Let's look at the current selling process after a deal is nurtured. Right now, how it works is agents in the organization create individual quotes upon analyzing and interacting with the deal and account and understanding their requirements and preferences. Over the time a deal is nurtured, their necessities are understood analyzed and the right product or service is pitched to them. Let's look at how the business operates in terms of selling and quoting items. A list price for each product is defined at a product level, but this list price that we define, it's not always static. It changes based on buyer details and requirements. Core electronics sellers sells a variety of laptops and desktops of different specifications along with compatible devices such as keyboards, headphones, mouses, and external hard drives. As each product is different, relevant or only comp compatible devices need to be sold along with the main item that they are selling. In this case, it's a laptop. This works most of the time as when a higher total or multiple quantity of items are bought together we provide a minor discount of about 5% and this not only makes it easier for customers as they were planning on purchasing it anyway. For example, for laptops that are specific to gaming, the business idea is to sell gaming mouses, a sound system, specific games, controllers and even software related to it. For la laptops that have lower storage, we, they try to upsell compatible external hard drives and dimension specific laptop tables, etc. Let's now look at how codes are created by each individual sales agent. For this, we need to first look at our products module, where each and every product is added that's present in our portfolio. Upon creating a product, it also allows you to update the product name,
provide a product code select your manufacturer color and also the unit price which is the list price in the quote any tax if necessary on whether ta tax is up applicable or not so during quote creation the laptop a buyer is looking for is selected and each and every one of the additional products the buyer is looking for is also added additionally currently this is how a quote is created the laptop that the buyer is looking to purchase in whatever quantity they are looking for is selected within the quote for a particular account In the products module, we configure the we configure the tax percentages associated to the product. So when a product is sell, selected, the appropriate tax value also. This is currently how created quote looks. Look at the amount of work that goes into individually choosing each and every product to be presented to the buyer in appropriate quantities, the exact right discounts and commissions. CPQ automates most of these selections within the quoted items with its many rules to completely decide what products need to be listed and when. Through different rules, most product, commission, list price, discount, tax and other selections that fall under these quoted items can be auto-populated when a single product is selected in the first place. So, currently when there is a potential buyer, a quote is created for it's upon the sales agent to understand the requirements and choose the right product for them. There are a few challenges that are currently faced to manually doing all this. Customers do a lot of research before buying a laptop. So several other sellers who stock the same machine offer competitive prices. To be able to make the sale, Core Electronics offers competitive prices on their larger electronics items as well, such as their laptops. So to be able to make as much as profit on the sale of a laptop, cross-selling accessories and software that's sold by Core Electronics is key. Sales agents are trained, but there are a lot of products that they are selling and mistakes do happen on what product is sold with what. Suge suggesting incompatible products is a complete no-no and beyond that, choosing the right product to upsell is necessary to capitalize on the buyer's interest. Our third problem is the customer who is looking to buy from Core Electronics is probably looking at other sellers as well. And the seller that provides the most lucrative deal and fast is the one that bags the sale. Quote approvals aren't strictly maintained in the organization unless it's a huge deal. This means that it's up to the sales agents to choose the right products to bundle and offer up discounts that are just right. Generating a discount is based on so many factors such as the type and size of deal, account or contact, region they are based out of, market conditions, current sales or clearances offered by core. Banking on the sales agent to choose the right discount that's lucrative enough to make the buyer purchase and also at the same time it's not too steep that Core Electronics is going to face a loss or that makes sure that it makes the required profit. This is kind of tricky business. When larger deals come through, either through high volume or orders, or someone is purchasing for a high total amount, it makes sense to configure free items. 
This acts as an incentive for prospective buyers to purchase more or choose a more expensive product or laptop as they feel like they're getting their money's worth. For example, a buyer who wants to buy a basic laptop with fewer functionalities for $700 would probably have bought it and also purchased headphones for $100. But when we are providing free headphones on laptops that are priced $1000 at least, the buyer might be motivated to buy the more expensive laptop. Let's now look at how CPQ tackles these business challenges. First, the price rule component. The biggest contingency when it comes to code creation is finding the right price. So contextual selling of contextual pricing for customers is vital to prevent drop-offs. For most cases, a laptop model won't be priced the same across all regions. It varies based on taxes, manufacturing and shipping costs, and even currency value in the country. Pricing needs to be adjusted based on several factors such as region, multiple items that are bought based on whether it's a referral or not, whether it's a new customer or whether they are a premium customer. Price rules fix the prices and discounts offered to ensure that nothing too high or too low is offered and such that it still makes the sale and generates revenue for the organization. Currently, it falls on the sales agent to monitor market trends and manually come to a conclusion of a discounted rate or an adjusted list price for each buyer after closely monitoring several aspects, such as billing address, size of sale, type of customer, etc. So, all in all, price rules allow these actions to change the list price of a product dynamically, to set the list price as a percentage of some other field value that's there in the quote or product, to configure a discount over the list price or on one of the val field values in the quote. It also allows con configuration of dynamic commission values based on the number or total pricing of the products sold and configures volume-based discounts, list-based modifications, or commission changes. Let's look at our first use case. Products are manufactured and assembled in different countries, but they're all imported into the US from Japan. This importing incurs an import fees of 7.5%. So any product that's placed from any corner of the world incurs this import fees, which is included in the list price. When it comes to products being ordered from Japan, however, this import fees does not apply, which means it falls on the sales agent to manually adjust the list price each time a product is placed, a product order is placed from Japan. Ideally, the list price in itself should be modified to include um, only 97, 92.5% of the original list price excluding the import fees. Let's look at how this can be achieved using CPQ's price rules. Let's now look at creating these, this price rule in CPQ. Let's access CPQ's price rule. Create a new rule for any product selected here we'll select our accounts country And we'll set the list price percentage from product details. We can also set, set the list price, per, price percentage based on other field values from the quoted items, such as commission rate, discount value, or tax value. But for this use case, let's go with the percentage of the unit price. Let's now create a quote to see how this looks while a quote is being created.
and let's select the laptop. The buyer is looking to order. This is the base list price of the laptop. And now while the code is being created, CPQ provides a pop-up with the new list price after the discount is applied. The sales agent can now save this and go on to creating their next quote or sending out this quote to the user. Now let's look at configuring discounts over products selected using price rules. At Core Electronics, the sales tax on products is completely waived off if the account falls under a non-profit industry sector. With so many other things to keep track of, such as the country that the account is from, like our earlier example, or whether they are a first-time buyer or they've already had a history of purchase, this factor of industry is often overlooked. Additionally, if any product is added to the court and the buyer is a first-time buyer and the total purchase exceeds $1,500, a flat discount of 10% is supposed to be provided to the user. All of this comes under configuring a discount on any product that is selected. So let's look at how that can be done using price rules. Let's now create a price rule for first-time buyers for purchasing above a particular value. Here, our rule is to set the discount and not to modify the list price. This, this rule applies for any product that's purchased first. So let's go with all products. Let's add our second criteria being that the total purchased is greater than 1500 and let's set our discount. Our discount is going to be on our total amount. Now let's create a quote for, uh, for an account that fulfills these criteria. Let's choose our product in a quantity that, that exceeds the minimum value set. And now while the sales agent saves the code, CPQ displays the discount that is applicable for the amount selected and the code can be sent. Let's say there's an annual clearance sale going on. Over here, select laptops have select discounts. Higher end laptops come with a flat discount of say about 300. Um, mid range laptops come with a 20% discount and more basic level laptops come with a 10% off. The volume of sales that come through during clearance is much higher than normal. So in these cases, expecting the sales team to generate the right discounted quote for each and every item and each of these quotes discounts to be approved manually sounds like such a hassle. Most of this can be automated using price rules. Let's create our quote for 
uh, our price rule for theorem and to provide a discount on certain laptops. For the higher range one, an absolute discount of say 300 euros is provided. For the mid-range one, a percentage based on the amount, say 20% and over here 10%. Let's now see how this works. Let's disable the other price rules first. All right. So now when a quote is created, Let's choose some of the laptops that are on the price rule. It currently displays only the list price and when we save it, CPQ should display the discount that's provided. There we go. Let's look at configuring commissions using CPQ. Currently, any commission that's configured for a code needs to either be directly added within the code or be configured within the product so that it gets automatically added within the code. Doing this for each product seems a little bit of a hassle for the admin. Let's look at a use case where a flat commission can be expanded for any product that's selected. Let's say that no matter what product is sold to a buyer, large or small, a flat commission of 5% is provided to the sales agent by default, unless it's a large quantity or volume sale. Right now, the admin would need to configure this manually within each product that's added. Let's create this as a rule. This rule applies for any product that is selected and does not have any specific conditions. But at the same time, this could be applied for just specific users who are associated with an account. Let's set our commission to be 5% of the amount and hit save. So over here, this means that for any, any quote that is created, a commission rate will be populated over here. A 5% commission rate on the amount value is goes to the sales agent in charge of the sale this way. Volume-based price rules. Volume-based allows specifying quantity and providing different values or discounts for each quantity of products that are selected. 
As we discussed at the start of this webinar, providing a change in list price or variable discounts for different quantities of products selected is necessary and difficult to be accurately done manually by the user in itself. The same goes for commission values. Let's take a use case. A large number of customers and the biggest deals that come in are through businesses that purchase electronics in bulk. These sales provide a steep profit that doesn't require as much manual sales efforts as it does to sell each electronic item individually. The higher the value of items purchased, the larger the discount offered. For example, a company that purchases over 5 laptops and lesser than 20 gets a 5% off. An 8% is offered for 20 to 50 laptops ordered and a 10% for 50 to 200. Let's configure this. Let's now configure this. Let's create a price rule based on volume. To provide a discount over laptops and select our quantity field. Let's provide discounts over certain standard laptops. Either an absolute discount can be provided a flat value or let's go with percentage over the amount. Let's give a 5% for 5 to 20 and 8% off for up to 50 and a 10% discount for when up to 200 laptops are ordered. Same for the other one as well. Now let's create a code. Let's say they are buying about 72 laptops. CPQ automatically applies the discount. And all the sales agent needs to do is save with the latest changes. Let's move on to the other aspect of CPQ. Product, con product configurator. When a certain product is selected for purchase, a number of actions can be automated to support the upselling of other products or services. One of the challenges the business faces is that customers don't purchase additional products, but it would be ideal if a customer who purchased a laptop also purchases insurance, a hard drive, or a premium subscription. As we mentioned earlier, upselling and pitching additional relevant products is necessary for the business to make profit. When, when steep discounts are provided on laptops and larger items, we rely on smaller accessories and subscriptions to be able to make a sizable overall profit. With CPQ, we can either configure rules to automatically add in these products when a product is selected or suggest these additional products to the salesperson who provides the quote. There are three aspects to product configurator. First, the product criteria for which suggestions are provided. Product configurator can either be set for any product that's selected or 
for a combination within a finite number of products. Any products within quoted items can be selected with additional condition or within a combination of products we can choose which products need to be selected together or any one of a finite list of predefined products that needs to be chosen. Additional conditions over here can be based on a value from the quoted, uh, quoted amount field. Criteria can be set based on the field values of quotes, deals, accounts and contacts associated to the product which will allow this rule to happen. This can be based on region of the deal or perhaps even the record owner. Our third box allows for either a product to be suggested, a product to be added or for a quoted item to be updated. Suggesting a product, well, product suggestions are displayed once the quote is created, which prompts the agent to add the relevant product to the quote. Adding products allow free or necessary products to be automatically added to the quote that fit the criteria that has been defined while creating the quote itself. Updating quoted items allows the updation of quoted items of a product based on the predefined criteria or based on the product that's selected. In addition to all of this, whenever a product is suggested, the quantity of the suggested products that needs to be added or suggested can be dynamically set based on the quantity of the original product that was selected in the criteria over here. When a sales agent creates a quote forgetting to add relevant products or not having chosen the right combination of products, sales agents can be prompted to add more before sending it out. This is how CPQ throws a pop-up for suggested items. CPQ allows the configuration of multiple suggested items so the code creator can simply pick and push the products they wish to directly within the code after quickly reviewing the product details from the same screen. Still not that clear? Well, let's look at some aspects of product additions within a code that are currently done manually and we'd like to automate for this business process. Let's say for the business process, no matter what product is selected, a subscription membership needs to be pitched to the buyer, which provides the buyer with free shipping and other benefits on their purchases. Some sales agents tend to leave it out of the code. Over here, the admin would like to remind the agent to add the subscription to the code. This can be done with Price Configurator. Let's configure this rule for any product. Criteria can be set based on the product that's selected, such as for the suggestion to be made only above a certain quantity of items purchased or beyond the total amount purchased or also for only certain deals or only for certain regions that the premium subscription is available for. And we suggest the product. Let's suggest this in a finite quantity of one. A premium subscription will be suggested, which can be added directly. On to our next use case. Product Configurator allows product suggestions based on combinations of products suggested. We can either mandate that multiple products together must be chosen or that between the products we have selected, 
any of them need to be chosen in order for the rule to execute. For example, when the core 15.6 inch laptop or the 14 inch laptop is selected, the adapter is specific to the United States. In cases where the account that's buying the laptop is not in the US, we would want an, a universal adapter to be suggested as well. Let's configure it. Let's now configure this in CBQ. Over here, we select the products we want this rule to be applied for. Let's say these. We are going to go with either of these products being selected, but like I said earlier, CPQ does have the option for us to configure product suggestions based on the combination of products being selected. We select the country isn't US and we suggest the universal adapter in a single quantity because that's all that's required. Now whenever a quote is created for one of these products, let's see how it turns out. The billing country is not the US, so that's from our price roll earlier. And here's our product suggestion, which can be added to the code. When certain products need to be mandatorily added to the code based on the previous product selection, CPQ displays a review pop-up to the agent before the code is saved or sent. Once the defined product or products is selected by the agent, it brings in these must-have products to be added automatically within the code. The products that have been added by CPQ are indicated and the agent can go ahead and save the code with these latest changes. Adding products, come, adding products through the product configurator comes with a great option to automatically up, add a free product to the code. Free products motivate the buyer to purchase a higher end product than they originally were going to or, in, or to overall purchase for a higher total sum. In addition, it also adds incentive for the buyer to return and bring their business back, creating scopes for more products to be sold. At Core Electronics, a free pair of headphones is provided over a purchase of 1,200 euros. Let's configure this. Let's configure this for a total sum on any product that's selected in the code. And we'll select the product we want to waive the charge off for. And we'll set this product as free. Now when a quote is created, and the product is selected for above the value it's required, a free pair of headphones is added along with. Let's now look at a use case where 
quantity of added products are dynamically updated based on the original product that's added. For certain items, a certain number of compatible items are also required to be purchased along with the original product. For example, the Core 2.4 wireless TV stick requires two core AAA batteries to function. An IT company that places a bulk order of about 50 TV sticks will require 100 batteries. The quantity of batteries required here is contingent on the number of TV sticks purchased and should be dynamically updated and matched within the, within the product suggestions based on the TV sticks purchase quantity. This can be done within product configurator. choosing the product and the mandatory product that needs to be added. Over here, instead of setting the quantity as an absolute value, we choose from the quoted items and configure it. Here, the base product that is the original product whose quantity we are going to have it updated in the field here and the quantity field we choose to copy. Over here, for every single TV stick that's purchased, two TV, two batteries are required. So we are going to go with quantity times so when a quote is created for the TV stick Let's go with 50 like we decided in our example. Here are 100, 100 batteries are automatically added. All right, this concludes our demo for CPQ's capabilities. If you have any questions or would like to know how CPQ can be configured for your business use case, do let us know and we'll help you out.